Hi, welcome to RoboJax. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use this MX6675 module with a K-type uh, connector uh, thermal coupler. So you will see three sections. One will be just measuring temperature with this one in Arduino. Second stage will be connecting it to a relay, controlling a load. And the third stage will including the display. So we will have three type of project and three different type of code so you can see from basic to the second level and third level so this is used uh, extensively in the industry to monitor the temperature and this can go for example this one with a from the manual this can go from zero to 600 it, it can measure and this unit is very simple it can be used with arduino so um, I'm going to show you how you can set this up. I'm going to heat this up and practically measure the temperature. And after that, I'm going to show you how you can turn something on and off an AC load with the uh, relay. Then I'm going to show you connecting it to controlling an AC load like this. This is a ball, but this can be also a fan. So we will use this module using the relay to control the AC load at a certain temperature. So either we set the temperature that if it reaches above that, the load will be turning on. For example, if there is a cooler to cool it based on the temperature, or maybe we can set it if the temperature goes below certain level, we can also turn on a load like a heater to bring up the heat back. So this relay and this device can do this all. So let's have a look at the specs uh, from uh, Maxim Integrated. This is Max 66. 75. This is a chip that can do the calculation with a K-type thermocouple from 0 to 1024 degrees Celsius. And here is the chip. Uh, configuration of the chip is it's, this is very tiny, so we don't have to worry how it works. But the only thing that you should do, so the resolution is 0 0.25 degrees Celsius, and it's 12 bit how you can download I will provide that full project and also the library link that you can direct that directly download it from the github and also we will provide it at robojacks.com the link will be at the description but so first you do it either from our ro website robojacks.com or from github which we provide the link you can just click here so download it and once download is completed Click on show folder. After that, right click on the f on this and then select with a 7-zip. 7-zip is a free software. If you don't have it, you can get it from 7-zip.org and then extract here. Once this is done, you will see a folder called the same name as that one. So Max 7 library. So let me just open it for you. So it has two files, Max 6 75cpp and .h. These are very important files that are needed and here are the examples. So I'm just exiting that folder. Then right click copy. So this once copied it, go to wherever you have your Arduino. In my case, Arduino is in the download folder. And then I have Arduino, multiple Arduino. So this is the Arduino that I'm looking for. And then inside the Arduino folder, this is the file that I'm running to open the Arduino. So go under the library and inside the, this w some blank area, right click and then paste it. So once you paste it, this is a folder that is there. To download it, just go to file and then example and then go here, max library and then select the serial. So let's have a look here. The pens with a code that I have. We have the first pen, which is data output. So DO that goes to pen four. Then this is the uh, clock select or cable select. And this is the clock pen number six. So four, five, six, and then we have VCC and then ground. So this goes to four, five, and six. This is a positive, this is a negative. So. And then the the three pin or to four, five, and six, 
and positive and negative are from here to the breadboard and from breadboard to there. So this is just follow those, whichever way you can connect it doesn't matter, connect it directly or connect it through the breadboard, doesn't matter. So now this is a, a K-type thermocouple. So let me open the code for you and then explain it. So when you open the code, the first line, this is a library that goes to, to the .h file and .h requires the .cpp so don't worry about it, just leave it here and we are defining three variables of type integer so pen4 is called do, thermal do and the thermal cs and thermal clk so 4, 5 and 6 is set so if your Arduino's pens are occupied you can change them accordingly to something else and then here we are creating the thermocouple here and then we are assigning this is the object and we are assigning pen 4, pen 5 and pen 4, pen 5 and pen 6 to the library which goes there so you do not touch this and you do not worry about it VCC pen 3 and pen 2 this if you follow it fine if not don't worry you can even remove it it will work so this is for printing on a screen uh, this is a serial monitor 9600 baht uh, the, the speed and then here VCC pen so as I mentioned if you don't put that you can delete this because you don't have to go this way you just connect it directly to positive and negative and this is now just printing the text and here it says wait for 500 milliseconds which is half a second for the chip to stabilize so this is done inside the setup now inside the loop is very simple it just prints C and then remember we created the object here that object is here thermocouple then this is a method dot read celsius when you put dot read celsius it gets the temperature in celsius, celsius and if you want it in fahrenheit just put thermocouple dot read fahrenheit the first one is print the second one is print ln so this is printed and this prints beside it without without any enter and then it will print an enter line and then it waits for 1000 milliseconds which is one second so then it goes again to the loop so this continues and it reads it okay, so now let me just up upload the code uh, normal room temperature it's compiling So it has started reading every second, it reads 26.25 centigrade and 79.25 in Fahrenheit. So it just reads it. Now let me just apply some heat so we can see it practically how it behaves. So I have a heat gun here and I, I'm applying some heat. So Please pay attention to the temperature in this area, the bottom one. You can see it reached 100 degrees Celsius, which is 220 Fahrenheit, and it's still increasing, but it will be stabilized and now it started slowly, it will start decreasing. So this can be tightened to any industrial application because it has wire and it will withstand the temperature of up to 100 degrees. So don't worry about it, just put it up to 600 degrees, this can handle. I've now changed the code and I've added this one, pen 10 as an output, so we can control a relay. And nothing else has changed. And here, uh, after this, I put this condition. And I said if this is the value of Celsius. I said if the Celsius temperature is bigger than 80, set the pen 10 as low, otherwise keep it high. So this is the characteristic of this relay that normally it should be low in order to disconnect this normally open. Of normally open, NO and common. So what you do is you, con you connect your load or two wires here and here. 
So common and normally open. If this is the reverse of what you're doing, keep this the middle wire the same. Just move this on the other side that will be normally connected. So one of them will work for you. So let me explain the AC bulb here. So this is a table light that is connected to the wall outlet and then the wire goes and will be turned on. But I have disconnected one of these two wires here. So let me show you. So I've just cut this wire from here. Now this can be connected to the uh, relay. The relay job is to just connect it so it will be on and disconnect it will be off. I've just twisted them and then put some solder so this can be inserted into a uh, connector with a screw. So I have connected the load here between the common and normally open. So the relay is here. The power is now connected. And as you can see here, the temperature shows at 45 degrees or 44 degrees. So now I'm going to heat this up. And as you can see, I said this, uh, that the relay should go on at 80 degrees. So let me test it. Now I'm applying heat. So you also pay attention to the temperature here. So at 80, the relay is on and this is connected. Let's say this was a fan and the temperature went above the threshold of 80. So the fan will start working to cool things up. This was one way. If you want to do it the other way, that the temperature reaches at certain level, then it's something should be off like heater. So you can set it that uh, the lower temperature, the heater is working and, at, and uh, slowly when it reaches 80 degrees, at 80, it will shut off. When the temperature reaches below 80, the load will turn off. Now I set this. Normally it's high, which means the relay is on. We assume that the load is some kind of heater. So let me just connect it and load it. So. So it, by default, it's on and the temperature is now 71 degrees. So when the temperature reaches 80, this will turn off. Okay, so now the load is turned off because we reached 80 degrees. Now it's on almost 96, 99. Wow, 100 degrees. So it's very hot now celsius so this way you can do it so when the temperature goes below 80 again this will turn on so it's almost 80 now you see it will turn on connected now the load and the next step i'm going to show you how you can connect it so you can see live uh, value here i have another video explaining this TM167, 1637. This module, I have complete video for this one, but I'm gonna use it quickly here to show you. So we have a few pens here, ground VCC, the ground is ground, VCC is five volts. And then we have clock, this goes to pin two with a code that I'm providing. And then this is going for data input that goes for, to pin three. So. And then plugging in this into pin two and pin three. And then the ground and other value is connected. So now, now this is connected. Let me show you the code. So the code has changed as follow. We have added these two lines uh, for this one. I have another video that explains how to get the uh, library for this one. So get the library from the this, uh, link that's provided at the description below.
So once you have this uh, library file, everything will be fine. Just copy and paste this code that I'm providing. So I'm explaining that the difference between previous code and this code is this two line. And then here we have pen two for the clock. This is for the data, another uh, section. And these, so these are for the uh, display. Nothing added there. And this line sets the brightness to the maximum. And this line with this m sets the value of the display to be zero. Again, we have another video to explain it. So at this step, what I've done is, this is the Celsius that this prints on the screen. So I've taken this one and using the cast method, because this is a uh, float, I'm converting it to integer and s storing it at temp or temperature. And then here we say display show number decimal, temp through three, it's three digit, we, s we say it's show at as three digit, starts from zero, which means from the left side, true mean also show a zero on the left side. So that's it, the rest is the same. So let me just now turn this on, upload the code and show you the temperature that you see on the screen. So here it says 49 degrees and the same thing that you see on the screen, you will see. Now let me just heat up this one and you can pay attention here at this temperature and also pay attention here. As you can see the temperature is increasing. And it's completely reflecting the temperature that you see there. All the code for this in three stage, the first stage, the sample code, and also then the second stage, the relay code, and the third stage, the adding the display will be provided at the link at the description, which you will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. All our codes are available at robojax.com. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video and also please share it, subscribe so you can get updates. I appreciate it.